Hi there, uh, and welcome to part two or three about the Danish salmon fishing. In this video, I'm going to talk you through uh, how to actually how to actually fish. You know, how to cast. What 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 kind of angles is important, and a lot of small tweaks and uh, and, and tips and tricks on uh, on how to tricks of the trade on exactly how to to catch more salmon when fishing in Denmark. Den var stor. When when fishing for salmon, um, I think there's a lot of talk of flies and lines and leaders and stuff like that and gear in, in particular. But there is one thing that I've come to think of as the most important and the most key element to actually being able to have success with catching salmon. And that is the angle of your casts compared to the different types of currents and stuff like that. How you present the fly, what angle you use when, when fishing um, different parts of, of the river, uh, and how your fly moves out in the water is the most important thing about salmon fishing. Angles are the key to everything. When you take a look at this, then this is a screenshot of me fishing on a given stretch of river. I am located here, the fisherman, and what I want to do with this, uh, this particular um, uh, thing is to show you how to optimize your angles and your fishing so your fly fishes the best way possible. Normally what a fisherman would do would basically just to cast to the opposite bank at a certain angle. Uh, many people say 45 degrees, this is probably a bit more, but around that. Then, uh, because we fish with sinking lines, what we often do is take maybe one, maybe two steps along the bank and then arrive here before we actually start uh, having the fly to swing. If we just do it like this, cast to the opposite bank, take the two step and then arrive here, what will happen is the line will be more or less like this instead of a straight, a straight line to the other bank. This means that all of this here this area here has not been fished because the fly that is at the end of this has actually been 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 pulled from outside the bank and out to here and uh, and it has done this at a very very slow speed so the fish that is laying that that ha that is holding on on the very close to the opposite bank doesn't see the fly at any given point the fish that are are here doesn't see the fly um, fishing actively and as a threat we want to avoid this, and the the way I do that, and now I'm gonna take a f couple of steps back. You see the dots are disappearing, and so is the X here, um, and so is the cast. I'm still standing at the X, I'm still standing here, but instead of casting in a 45 degree angle or a 50 degree angle, is I try to cast so my line is actually behind me. You see, I am here, and then the line is behind me instead of being there. The reason I do this is because when the current pushes the line, this is kind of like a reach cast. The reason why I do this reach cast is because when the, the current pushes the line, then now it will push the line in the correct way when I walk along the bank until I'm here and it will it will be behind me until I'm ready. And when I'm ready and, and I have moved here, the line will have moved in the current also. And this will mean I will have the correct angle and my fly will still have, have it, had, it had traveled all this this way here sinking and now it will still be right close to the bank so the fish that are standing close to the bank also will now see my fly as it swings correctly and the fly will swing out from the bank correctly so when you do this a reach cast like this um, I do this because we fish with with sinking lines um, and and because the fishing in Denmark is 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 a bit difficult and you have to take these steps um, because you have to do it like that then uh, then then this is very very crucial because it will make your fly fish more efficiently all the way across the river
Okay, so now we are back at this uh, overview of, uh, of the river. I am still located here, and what I want to show you in this, uh, in, in this animation is uh, how, to, how to fish when you have two different, uh, two different currents. Here I have illustrated this with a big arrow, that means that the current is fast at the opposite bank, and the shorter arrow means that the current is slower at, at, uh, at your own bank. Basically, if you just make a normal cast to the other bank here, um, and and you take the two steps or one step downwards, and uh, and you're ready to fish, what will have happened is that um, because the current is slower here, this here will will work as an anchor and not have moved as much as this part of the line here, which will have moved quite a lot. This will make your line look kind of like this out here. So. The problem with this is that all this here, all this stretch of river here, and all this from, from, from the bank and out to your fly now, is something where your fly hasn't fished properly. It's, it's basically quite a lot of, of, uh, of the river where your fly has not fished efficiently and has not had the, 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 correct, the correct swing. So you potentially lose fishing to all the fish that are here. That's the first thing. The second thing is that this is actually much worse than that because the fly now has this very, the fly line has this a bit exaggerated uh, S shape and this makes the fly which is located here not swing correctly for quite a lot more of your actual swing. This means that maybe as much as half your cast, maybe as much as this here, half your cast, oh that's a bit more than half, but maybe as much as half of your swing actually the fly has not fished properly. And you can remedy this, you can, you can actually do a lot to avoid this and to make your fly fish properly all the way. I'm just gonna backtrack a bit here. So basically what I want to show you is, you still have the faster current at, at the other side, everything is the same, and now you've cast to the other side. What you can do to ensure that your cast fishes better is actually to make a mend downstream. Because when you make a mend as you cast downstream, you will you will make sure that this slower current does not affect as does not apply as an anchor as much to the part of your fly line that is on the water on the on the on the slow current. And this will mean when you take your two steps or one step or whatever, when you're here, that this will have traveled relatively less than than this will have traveled. But because this was more downstream than before, now you get the complete right angle, and as soon as, as the line is tight, the fly starts swinging correctly. And you fish to all the fish, all the way from the opposite bank, all the way to your own bank. So now you see me, I'm back at the bank, I'm standing at exactly the same location as before. But now the conditions has completely changed. Now the current is way way stronger at my own bank than at the opposite bank. And this gives me some, uh, this gives me some problem that I have to deal with. If I just cast normally to the other bank, then take my two steps. And the reason why I take these two steps is while I walk to this new location, the line has time to sink down and the fly has time to sink down and that's important for the Danish fishing because the rivers are murky, the rivers are deep and most of the time the fish only takes the fly if you get down to the fish. They're not as clear as Norway or, or many other places. So that's why I, I always keep rambling about these two steps before I, I... Okay, so with that out of the way, basically I have now taken my two steps, I cast the line, I walked, the two steps to the new location and what this has meant is that the line close to me has traveled a bigger distance than the line at the opposite bank this means now that i have a line uh, a, a line that is approximately like this uh, not completely it is probably more like this and basically this means that all this piece of water here where a lot of the fish will be will be resting the fly has not fished properly over here because it basically was just drifting and and now the position of the fly also makes because of this this curve here doesn't make the fly fish in the right way 
I want my fly to be in a straight line. I want my uh, ideally I would want my fly to be here so that it will it will fish correctly from start until my own bank. And the way to actually do that is uh, there are two different ways of achieving that goal. So now I'm going to just go a couple of steps back here. Also, I move all the steps back as you can see. I'm walking back to the to the to the position where I where I was in. So basically, I cast to the other bank. The current is faster at my at my side, and what I can do to make up for this is actually to mend the line. So it kind of casts like this because when the line now moves a big distance here, but a shorter distance here, this will add up to having the correct angle and for my fly to swing properly. Of course, the amount of mend and stuff like that is something that you'll have to experiment and, and it depends on, on the exact current. But if you mend upstream, you will, you, will, you, will, you, will, um, you will deal with the problem that was shown in this video. That's the first thing you can do. The other thing you can do, instead of this, is actually to hold your rod far out over the water so that the line is not on the water here because that will give less drag to the line here and that will kind of give the same effect not as as big an effect but but closer to the same effect so that when i've walked the two steps i will have a line angle that is more like this and this will swing better than before so the higher you hold your rod the less of the current the less of the current will grab the fly line and force it this way and this is this is the best option if you're fishing in smaller smaller streams and stuff like that if you're fishing in really really big waters then the mend is probably the best option so that's the two way you can you can you can work around uh, the the problem with with the difference of of current speeds <laughs> the third of, of today, very, very nice fish. <laughs>